This is Area 88 Plastic Surgery Specialist, Yoi Sok Seo. I will show you a fifth year follow up of a conjoint fascial sheath, CFS, reoperation in a patient who had severe blepharoptosis in his right eye. Due to severe blepharoptosis, the patient had done a levator resection first at an ophthalmologist at the age of 3, then again at an ophthalmologist at the age of 10 where frontalis sling surgery was performed. Frontalis sling surgery, especially those using one's own tendon or ligaments of corpse, is no longer practiced. Since the technique uses the forehead muscle, it isn't cosmetically recommendable because these muscles are used when opening the eyes. Also using one's own tendon or ligaments of corpse is a method that corrects by inducing heavy adhesions, therefore the eyes are unable to close. Most of all, in severe blepharoptosis, the recurrence rate after a frontalis sling surgery is over 50%, and if you consider the cosmetic aspects also, almost all of them need reoperation in my opinion. This is 13 months post. You can see the eyes can open normally. This is the eyes closed. Although there is slight ptosis, it closes much better than prior to surgery. This is a picture from 5 years and 1 month post-surgery. The eyes can open normally. This is the eyes closed. Prior to surgery the eyes could not close well at all, but afterwards, you can see that they can close to normal. You can also see that the eyelids are slightly drooping. There seems to be a slight relapse compared from 13 months, but this is hardly a relapse. As patient has aged, the brows have dropped lower and the eyelids have drooped also. At the time, only when I was operated on, but now that the brows have dropped lower and the eyelids are drooping, were there to be correction done, simple brow lift or lifting of skin will be sufficient. Patients with severe blepharoptosis are most anxious to know how the eyes would blink. Let's watch a clip of a patient 5 years after CFS surgery. It's been 5 years since your CFS surgery. Can people easily tell you've had surgery done? They usually can't. Right? Would you close your eyes comfortably? Result at this level, it's great. Would you open your eyes? Compared from 5 years ago the brows have dropped a bit, but overall there seems almost no relapse. I think a brow lift or just removing overlapping skin later will be more than enough. As of current, conjoint fascial sheath, CFS, surgery allows the eyes open and close the most times in severe blepharoptosis. It isn't unnatural like frontalis sling surgery and the closing of eyes is much superior. Therefore, frontalis sling surgery is no longer used. However, even with conjoint fascial sheath, CFS, surgery the eyes cannot be made perfectly normal. Also, the lid lag phenomenon in which the eyelids won't lower when looking down, the difference in speed between the eyes when trying to close them, and the eyes staying open while sleeping can't be treated. Still it's much better than frontalis sling surgery. As you saw in the video, people can't really tell. For this reason, those who've had frontalis sling surgery in the past will undergo reoperation again with CFS surgery. Postoperative management is very important for this surgery. Therefore, it is difficult to do in children who aren't always cooperative. The first three months at minimum is crucial, thus even a cooperative middle schooler would be difficult because they'd play with their friends or have physical education classes at school. It's been almost 15 years since I've been performing this surgery, but patients wonder why it isn't mainstream if it isn't in fact a new surgical method. Not all surgeons can perform CFS surgery. How much CFS is removed, how they're fixed, how they're cared for post-operation, etc. are all very important. Also, it's a high-level difficulty operation that requires the ability to perform re-operation in case of relapse. This explains why they're not mainstream. Also, when performing surgery for severe blepharoptosis, the position of eyebrows and movement of forehead should always be considered. Sometimes, a forehead lift may be necessary in prior. Therefore, if the forehead isn't dealt with, you will not see good results. Ophthalmologists in particular cannot treat the forehead and aren't aware of the conjoint fascial sheath, CFS, surgery, thus cannot perform them. Thank you.